गेट साइकोलॉजी टू जीरो टू फाइव पेपर वॉज इट इजी और वॉज इट टफ एंड ऑल्सो वील डिस्कस सम ऑफ द आंसर की विच इज विच विल बी अनऑफिशियल एंड फ्रॉम अवर सोर्सेस विच वी हैव फाइंड एंड विच वी आर बीन स्टडिंग फ्रॉम द पास्ट सिक्स सेवन एट मंथ नियरली अयर ओके सो इफ यू हैव बीन फॉलोइंग द वीडियोज फ्रॉम द वेरी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगनिंग डेफिनेटली हंड्रेड परसेंट द पेपर वॉज इजी फॉर यू एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल एंड यू हैव नॉट स्टडीड और वट एवर यू हैव डन यू माइट हैव फाउंड द पेपर डिफिकल्ट ओके now talking about first thing i want to show you something and that is deception okay 100% you would have got this question about deception it should be justified and the answer would lie somewhere here only okay so there was one question about deception what they would have framed this is called debriefing around deception and debriefing they would have asked you in the msq or ms or mcq type whatever type that question was okay so you will find definitely this question this is from your unit number not second it is from unit number first which i have told you that this is very very imp unit of your gate psychology okay this time they have asked you about the research ethics and you will find this in chapter number 1 or of, of our beloved book and now talking about one more thing which is very very interesting the third force okay the first time the question about this the forces of psychology have been asked in gate 2021 i mean from 2021 to 2024 not a single question on the forces of psychology and for the very first time they included about this and the answer also lies over here in the index only so if you have studied from the index also the quick revision it would have helped you and if you don't know what is the first force what is the second force and what is the third force then i am so sorry but the answer lies over here only the answer is here only which is you are going to witness right now on your screen and that is why book reading proper line to line reading becomes very very important so this is again from where from our chapter number 1 only that is why i told you chapter number 1 to x number whatever chapter you are having in this book you have to read properly each and every single line see how the question have been framed from this particular paragraph humanistic perspective often called the dash force in psychology okay now you know the answer key what will be the answer what is the third force in psychology you know the answer humanism was really a reaction now if you don't know about the first and second force then you have to read these lines again and again until and unless you are able to gather what these lines are trying to say okay so if you read this much statement it is not possible that you will understand okay what is the first and second force but if you read this statement one time second time third time fourth time n number of times then you will be able to get okay it was really a reaction to the both psychoanalytic theory and behaviorism so it's pretty obvious this is going to be the first one and this is going to be the second one okay and now the third one is our what third force in psychology is our humanistic perspective okay it was a reaction to both psychoanalytic theory which is considered as the first force and behaviorism which is considered as the second force because we know this was the first to arise after that behaviorism came in the picture okay firstly it was the sigmund freud and then came the watson in 1913 and by the manifesto and all those things okay so what is the answer i hope you know the answer key for this if the question is asking you, you about the first and second forces of psychology now the two questions directly from the same book which we discussed so far as well as one question about carl jung or carl jung whatever you want to call about the animus anima you will find the same resource in this animus and all this masculine feminine thing in the same book as well okay the question will be somewhat tricky but the concept if you are clear if you are clear about the concept then you will be able to answer it correctly and that answer is also lying in the same book now this is a third question not talking about about the fourth question called as the cns and pns one question was asked on this particular thing people have not sent the exact question what was the question was but around these thing that okay one question was from this pns cns thing okay so if you remember the question exactly what that was to make sure that you comment down below so that we can discuss in the upcoming videos or we will wait for the correct answer key i mean not answer key the correct question paper so that we will be able to follow the same thing about the parasympathetic and the sympathetic division and the efferent and efferent nerves if you have followed the 2024 series definitely you will be able to mark this question correctly as well okay so this question is again easy if you have read from the same book book remains the same it's just that you have to read again and again which i have been telling you since past 6 7 months now one more question different question from the reliability portion from our e book about the reliability the sources of error okay time error content error or whatever error you will get it is also mentioned clearly in the e book so if you have read from the that book for the testing portion as well you will be able to solve that 
question as well very easily okay in the test they would have asked something like that in test retest which will happen and in what in parallel form what will happen in alternate form what will happen and something like that if the question was around this okay reliability sources of reliability error now talking about one more question that was the numerical one okay about the numerical one it was on type 1 and type 2 error okay type 1 and type 2 error this we can consider a difficult one because not everybody in the example everybody is in panic even the easy questions seems to be more difficult i mean very difficult so it's completely okay numerical ones if you have missed it's completely okay you are not there to solve numerical each and every time because there is no negative marking i guess i which i took the last video we discussed about this thing that there is no negative marking in the numerical ones i guess okay so whatever your answer is if it is good it's good if it if it is bad it's bad just take it on the face value no need to worry about this numerical question as such okay now talking about one more thing which is again in the same book about the speech okay speech language and the babbling thing okay babbling thing which i will show you right now the question would be on something these lines okay stages of language development these are the stages the going babbling one word speech telegraphic speech whole sentences they have asked i guess in the msq portion so the question will be on these lines only and definitely you will find the answer some of you might have been watching the question also over here because they would have framed from here only okay so make sure that you find the answer if you find the answer for this for your question paper then do make sure that you comment down below that okay yes we found the answer what was the answer in for that particular question okay so right now you saw four to five questions directly from this particular book and it will keep on repeating as long as you are giving the examination of gate psychology 2025 now talking about one more i have shown you that okay whenever you are in confusion just draw this this is called as the npc and if they ask you just remember these 2 14 and 34 that number and one more question was there from the pyq series which we have done about this particular section as well okay that what will come uh, they would have given the mean and sd and asked about this particular question which will fall under this and which will fall not under this okay so things like that now talking about one more thing which is very interesting and a very good question on aging okay the question on aging was 100 percent which we are going to witness right now again from the same source okay now let's look over here theories of physical and psychological aging i have been telling you n number of times that okay go and study from here you will be able to clear very easily see what the question is telling you i mean the book is telling you this cellular clock theory it is mentioned over here we are end tier theory you would have been watching this and you would be thinking why i did not study from here or why i did not find this canal maybe now this see free radical theory activity theory everything is mentioned here on D and some of you might be thinking that okay yes this was the particular question that was asked in 15th Feb examination okay so as you can see 6 to 10 nearly there are more questions but we have less amount of time so nearly 6 to 10 questions are directly from our same book okay now now one more thing see this is so common self determination theory you will find in every psychology book self actualization you know all these things okay these are not difficult things and one more thing is what is your that that you have to match the neurotransmitter so if you have solved the net pyq the udc net pyq then it might be very easy for you to match those but i don't know what exactly was there to match for the dopamine serotonin acetylcholine and all those things maybe they are asking for the sources or where it is found or something like that okay now these are very easy questions but you have studied it will be easy if you have not studied it might be difficult for you because it's completely okay you are not knowing the sources but those who are knowing the sources from where the question is going to come definitely they are going to clear gate 2025 without any doubt now one more on fae the our fundamental attribution error you will find the in the same c book as well and one more on the self-serving bias you will find in for for the social psychology portion in the same book as well okay nothing so difficult about this and one more which i can see right now is talking about what it is talking about the in where we will collect the detailed information in case study in experimental or whatever that question might be so again it was a msq type and for the answer for this it is mentioned in the a book or in the c book as well okay you will find some basic basic questions and there were some simple basic match the column following as well about the instinct the drive cognitive you have to just match see the match the following would be easy 
but the numerical one is difficult one the hypothesis and the hypothesis 2 leave it don't worry about it the type 1 and type 2 error don't worry about it but rest all is the easy side of portion okay and these were the all imp questions that have been asked in this year's paper okay now one more don't need to worry about the endogenous attention and the exogenous if you don't know about this this was a difficult one it's completely okay you will not find in the c book as well it's completely okay you are not going to answer each and every question that has been mentioned over there okay but fa factor analysis yes you have to answer for factor analysis 100 percent if you have gone through the book which i have mentioned you will definitely find the answer for this as well okay so paper was difficult for those who have not studied properly and uh, the paper is somewhat on the same lines once we have a full question paper right in front of our eyes then we can discuss but it's completely okay it's completely agreeable or it's completely we can say understand that okay in the exam hall 2 plus 2 is also difficult to answer it can be 4 or 5 or 22 what the examiner is asking it's completely okay it's completely okay everything is difficult in the exam hall okay completely agree but eventually what happens is if you have practiced if you have revised n number of times the same single sources or the same simple things and the pyqs it becomes very difficult for you to uh, to mark wrong answers this is the only difference that is between the why the paper was tough or why the paper was easy if you have studied properly n number of times there is no chance that you will be able to mark incorrect options okay now with this we i guess we have finished with the most of the imp questions some more general questions would be there but we don't need to worry about that okay but these are the most imp and the most questions which have which we have received so far on this particular paper of our gate psychology 2025 okay so if your paper was good you are so positive that okay this time you are going to clear all the very best to you for your future endeavors and for whatever future what you want to do and those who found this difficult those who are in doubt okay you you might get lucky or you might not be whatever the case is don't worry next time if you are preparing i want every one of you to clear but it is not humanly possible or practically possible but for the next time if you are preparing make sure that you follow what has been told in the previous videos and you follow the complete free guide of our gate psychology preparation free guide or complete preparation guide okay all right so that's all for today now and we have discussed the most imp questions as well as the sources of the answer key as well okay so if i show you every single source it, the video will take a long time and it will be more difficult for us to make this thing and don't worry we will do that once the question paper is out the complete question i will also see how the questions were there what questions they have asked what you have missed to tell that okay this question was also over there and we will try to find out the sources for that particular questions as well okay so the summarize if we can summary make summary for this is the pyq repetition yes 100 percent from the sources the books mentioned yes 100 percent and our two three to five two to five odd questions which nobody knows from where they are coming okay so you are not there to solve these questions it's completely okay the cutoff is not going to be that high but you, you are there to solve these questions every time for the next time if you even if you are watching this for 2026 you have not given the 2025 but you are watching for 2026 make sure you are not going to solve this nobody is going to solve this question in the exam hall real time okay because we are not super humans we are just common persons and we are going to solve these by proper revision and by proper following the things which i have mentioned in the previous videos all right okay with this i will end this video make sure that you share the question paper once it is out okay share the question paper once it is out we will try to find out the answers we will check the answer key as well and if they have any discrepancies and all those things we will try to figure it out as well okay so the question paper make sure that you send it on the whatsapp or in the, on the mail id which you will find in the description and if you are watching for the 2026 session this video you are watching for 2026 make sure that you have your pyq unit wise ebook okay how to order that you just need to take care of what you just need to take care of the description pyq unit wise ebook if you want to order it for your 2026 session and which will have questions from 2021 to 2025 okay make sure you place your order early before the price hikes those so all the questions from 2021 to 2024 will be added for you for the 2026 session okay don't forget to check the description for the pyq unit wise ebook before the price increases okay all right and once the question paper is out we will add all the questions from 2025 in all those respective units thank you very much for watching the video i hope you have a nice day and wish you all the very best who are aiming for clearing this time gate 2025 thank you and have a nice day ahead